So here we are at the start of the, the walk. So this is going to be a walk up Ben Rhines. Uh, some people call it Ben Rennes, uh, but apparently the proper way to pronounce it is Ben Rhines. Sat us at the car park, half seven in the morning, 11 degrees, foggy, uh, but I'm pretty sure we're going to get through the fog into a gorgeous blue sky day any second, or any minute. So let's get going. There's a car parked here, and start of the walk is just up here, away from the car. So you just walk up here, uh, just for 30 seconds, and you get to a gate. Go through the gate, and that should be us on the start. What a morning to be out. It's absolutely stunning. It's lovely when you come through the cloud like that. It just really is nice. So, so far, it's a nice easy path. A wee bit rocky. As uh, certainly is an incline, but nothing too bad. So it should be suitable for most folk this walk. Nothing too tricky so far. It really opens out now. It's now we're on a nice flat bit and you can see the path going up here and then the destination just up underneath that cloud. So it's just evening out here a little bit again by some white stones. So I might just stop here and take a bit more drone footage. So the part that we're at at the moment with all these big white stones, uh, this part where it flattens off, apparently this is called Roy's Hill. So in case you don't fancy going all the way to the top, uh, then this is the top of Roy's Hill where you get nice views here, but it'd be a shame to get this far and not go all the way up. And yeah, the path has got easier here. So if you're watching this, keep going, let's get to the top. So just when you pass those raised PT areas either side of the path, you've got less than a mile to go, but it is starting to get steeper now. So I think the last mile is pretty much a bit more of an incline. Lovely path though. Just getting a wee bit cloudier the higher up I go. But that's not too bad. Just bringing the temperature down a little bit. So not quite so hot. Aha! The top has just come into view. So I can just see the trig point just up ahead. Well, here we go, this is us at the top. There's no cane at the top of this one, but there is a trig point. And a wee map. So the wee map just on the top, uh, showing you where everything is. So on a clear day, typically, it's gorgeous down the bottom. <laughs> typically we get to the top and the clouds sat on the top. So on a clear day, you would get to Lossy Mouth uh, that way, which is north from here in the coast. And then back this way, we turn around here. Uh, but off it in that direction somewhere would be the Cairngorms.
So that's me at the top of Ben Rhines. So I've had a wee play about with the drone, got some drone footage. I've just been having a wee snack, made some sandwiches, got a bit of cake still to eat. Still got banana and I've got a flask of coffee. Uh, so yeah, the height up here is pretty sure it's 840 or 41 meters. So this is classed as a, a Corbett. So a Corbett's anything over two and a half thousand feet uh, in Scotland. And this particular hill, Ben Rhines, you get the best views of this entire area of the northeast part of Scotland in this particular part. So you get the best views here when the cloud's not quite so low. Typically, it's a, it's a lovely day. It's not it's not cold. It's a, it's a nice wee breeze. Uh, but the cloud level is it's a bit misty and you can't really see very far. Normally you'd see really nice views. I've only been up here once before, uh, ran up in winter when it was covered in snow and ice. So it's, it's actually been quite nice just walking up at a nice leisurely pace. It's taken me, and I've gone super slow, it's taken me two hours to get to the top uh, and have some lunch. But I've stopped a load of times, uh, done some drone footage, and just taken it easy. So the path is really well-defined path. Nice, nice path for just about anyone. Uh, anyone who can make it up a hill. So yeah, 840 meters to the top. I think from the, the car park to the top, it's about 540 meters of ascent. Because uh, we're not starting at um, sea level here. Well worth the trip. Really nice hill. But it's lovely. I've seen one person going down when I was coming up. She must have set off super early. She must have set off about half five if she came to the top. But top marks to her, she was walking her two dogs. I haven't seen anyone else. It's just been nice and peaceful. Just finished part my sandwich here. So kit wise, what have I brought with me? So I'm just dressed in a t-shirt and shorts. At the moment, uh, footwear, I've got on a pair of the Innovate Rock Light 345s, which is a mid boot, which is a bit like a running shoe, but a bit higher up. Just stops any bits going in over the top. Um, so they've been absolutely ideal. Pack wise, I brought my Innovate Adventure Light 15. So fit, oh, get the beastie off the camera. 15 litre pack, been more than enough. I had a flask of coffee, I brought the drone, I've got a first aid kit, I've got a warm layer, I've got uh, layers for my legs, uh, extra layer for the top as well, uh, food, water, yeah I've got loads of stuff with me. So heading back down now, spent ages up at the top, took my time, had a snack, took in the views, and yeah, leisurely paced down now. Some people make me laugh. A guy just passed me going up. Music blaring, stinking of aftershave, marching up. It's like, hold on, take a step back. Have a look where you are. It's no hurry. And you're not in a nightclub. <laughs> not far from the car now. Well, there we go, back down. Time is, uh, where are we? 20 past 11. So I set off at half seven. Uh, took my time, took loads of time, stopped loads of times for a good 10, 15 minutes to pop some, some of the stops. So nice, easy going path. Uh, Walk Island says it takes between three and four hours. So that took me just under four at a very leisurely pace, if that helps you. Um, you could do it a lot quicker, no problem at all. Very nice uh, walk, definitely got busier as I was coming down. Uh, more cars parked along here now. 
So get here early and enjoy this lovely walk up Ben Rhines.